it doesn't look like a weapon that belongs on today's battlefield. That's because it was designed for tomorrow. The FNP-90 didn't evolve from existing guns, it defied them. Every curve, mechanism, and cartridge was built to answer one question. How do you stop a threat wearing armor, in close quarters, with speed and precision? By the late 1980s, NATO had a serious problem. While frontline troops carried assault rifles like the M16 or FAMAS, support personnel were usually issued pistols or compact submachine guns, mostly chambered in 9 by 19 mm parabellum. The problem, that round could no longer guarantee stopping power against even basic Kevlar. Ballistic vests were becoming lighter, cheaper, and more widespread, and 9 mm simply bounced off. NATO needed something new, a personal weapon that was compact, easy to carry, but capable of penetrating armor at range. In 1989, the call went out. FN Herstal answered it not by modifying an existing platform, but by starting over. What emerged was a complete package, a gun, a cartridge, and an operational philosophy that hadn't existed before. Traditional magazines sit below the weapon, protrude from the grip or body, and feed vertically into the chamber. That layout makes reloading familiar but creates bulk and limits capacity. The P90's magazine solves that differently. It lies flat along the top of the weapon and feeds sideways. The rounds sit in two rows, then transition into a single column guided by a spiral ramp that rotates each round 90 degrees into the chamber. It sounds complex but field reports show it to be surprisingly robust. With 50 rounds per mag and none of the protrusion that makes traditional weapons awkward in confined areas, the P90 maintains both balance and readiness. The translucent polycarbonate lets operators count rounds at a glance. It's simple, quiet, and efficient. Length matters. In firearms, barrel length determines how much energy a round can build before leaving the gun. Longer barrels mean faster bullets, better range, and improved penetration. But longer barrels usually mean larger weapons. The bullpup configuration solves that by shifting the action and magazine behind the trigger. The result, the P90 has a barrel that's over 10 inches long, yet the total weapon length remains under 20 inches. It fits in tight quarters quarters and handles well in vehicles, aircraft, and hallways. This design wasn't just about saving space. The centered weight distribution means it shoulders naturally. Troops unfamiliar with full-length rifles describe it as intuitive. It's light at just under 3 kilograms when loaded, and because of the downward ejection port, there's no need to worry about brass flying across a vehicle or into the face of a left-handed user. Mechanically, the P90 is not exotic. It fires from a closed bolt using a straight blowback system, a reliable decades-old principle. The bolt mass and recoil spring absorb the energy of each shot. Fewer moving parts mean less can go wrong. In full auto mode, the P90 has a cyclic rate of around 900 rounds per minute, but because of the low recoil from the 5.7mm cartridge, it remains remarkably easy to control. Even three or four round bursts stay tight, especially when fired from a supported position. The safety and fire selector are placed inside the trigger guard, which some operators initially find unusual. But once learned, it allows quick transitions between safe, semi-auto, and full auto, all while maintaining grip and control. The 5.7 by 28 mm round was developed by FN specifically to meet NATO's armor penetration requirement. It's smaller and narrower than traditional pistol rounds, but what it loses in diameter, it gains in velocity. Most variants of the 5.7 mm round travel at 2,300 to 2,800 feet per second, depending on barrel length and load. The projectile has a steel or aluminum core, optimized for defeating Kevlar 
Kevlar and similar materials. In NATO trials, the standard SS190 round pierced soft armor at 200 meters. But speed alone doesn't define the round. Because it's lightweight and aerodynamic, the 5.7 millimeters experiences less recoil, allowing for quicker follow-up shots. In real terms, this means that even inexperienced shooters can stay on target, reducing wasted rounds in high-stress scenarios. Some law enforcement agencies prefer hollow point variants of the round, which offer less penetration but more controlled terminal performance, especially important in urban environments. Warfare doesn't stay the same. Enemies move through crowded cities, blend into civilian populations, and operate in tight spaces where traditional rifles become liabilities. As modern threats have shifted from conventional front lines to urban alleyways and interior corridors, the demand for agile, compact, and reliable firearms has grown. The P90 fits directly into that evolution. Its design makes it ideal for dynamic environments, tight hallways, staircases, and low visibility zones where longer weapons become a burden. The central balance point makes quick pivots and reaction shots smoother and more intuitive. Operators can shoot from either shoulder with zero compromise thanks to fully ambidextrous controls and downward ejection. In scenarios where milliseconds decide outcomes, that symmetry matters. Law enforcement units also value the 90 pesos for the same reason, predictable performance under unpredictable conditions. Whether it's breaching a narrow doorway or holding formation in a vehicle, the weapon doesn't fight the user. In a world where battlefields look more like apartment blocks and metro stations, the P90 isn't outdated, it's right on time. Functionality isn't just felt, it's measured. The P90 has undergone decades of field testing, real-world deployment, and controlled evaluation. Its performance speaks clearly through the data. Malfunction rates are extremely low, less than 1 per thousand rounds in both field conditions and lab tests. That puts it on par with much larger and more complex systems. The weapon's recoil profile is consistently ranked among the easiest to manage in its class. And because the 5.7 by 28 millimeter round produces less muzzle rise, users stay on target during rapid fire with minimal correction. This matters not only in combat, but during training. Police and military units alike report that new recruits can become proficient with the P90 faster than with with most other weapons in their arsenal. Reload time is sometimes flagged as a drawback due to the top-mounted magazine, but the 50-round capacity compensates for that. Fewer reloads mean fewer interruptions during live engagements. When compared side-by-side -side with conventional SMGs in close-quarter scenarios, the P90 routinely finishes drills faster, with fewer misses and cleaner transitions. In the end, the numbers back what users have said for decades. This weapon was built for reliability under stress, and it delivers. The P90s looks get a lot of attention. The sci-fi shape, the top-mounted mag, the lack of visible sights. It's unconventional, but every line has a reason. The body is made from high-strength polymer, resistant to impact, corrosion, and extreme temperatures. The grip is ambidextrous, molded to support various stances and firing positions. Early models came with a reflex sight built directly into the top rail. It uses a fiber optic collector for daylight visibility and a tritium lamp for nighttime. No batteries required. Even the backup sights are molded into the frame. That means no flip up parts to break or lose. The weapon can be dropped, dragged, and carried in tight harnesses without risk of damaging critical components.
Though originally designed for NATO support troops, the P-90 found homes elsewhere. The United States Secret Service adopted it for close protection duties, citing its compact size, controllability, and armor-piercing capability. It could be hidden under a jacket, used inside vehicles, and fired accurately in tight spaces. France's GIGN and Belgium's counter-terror units use it in high-risk urban operations where long rifles might be too bulky or dangerous due to overpenetration. In Asia, several countries have adopted the P-90 for VIP protection, special police, and anti-smuggling operations in ports and dense cityscapes. The P-90 was never meant to replace rifles like the M4 or AK series. It's not designed for open field firefights or suppressing fire. It fills a different role. Classified as a personal defense weapon, it sits between a pistol and a carbine. It gives support troops, who may not be rifle qualified, a tool they can carry easily but trust in crisis. It's also used by elite units who need compactness without sacrificing stopping power. 30 years later, very few weapons do what the P90 does, and even fewer do it as reliably. How does the P90 stack up to similar weapons? It's often compared to the HK MP7, another PDW chambered in a proprietary armor-piercing round, 4.6 by 30 millimeter. The MP7 is more compact and can be used one-handed more easily. However, the P90 has higher magazine capacity, 50 versus 40, a longer barrel, and more stable recoil control. Critics argue that the P90's ergonomics take getting used to, especially the magazine reload. Others point out that the 5.7mm round, while excellent against armor, can overpenetrate in civilian environments unless matched with proper ammo. Still, in its intended role, giving non-infantry personnel real protection, few weapons are as complete a solution. Units who use the P90 often report that training curves are short. New users can become proficient within hours, not weeks. Its recoil, handling, and intuitive layout mean less muscle memory is required compared to full-length rifles. In one after-action report from a European law enforcement agency, operators praised the ease with which they maneuvered through tight staircases and doorways. Another commented on how downward ejection allowed better group formations without fear of crossfire brass. Even in low light and wet conditions, the P90's materials and sealed internals reduced maintenance downtime. This matters in long missions where reliability becomes the most valuable feature. FNP-90 wasn't made to look cool. It was designed to address a problem that no other weapon had previously solved. Its ammo, layout, and features were designed with a purpose. Decades later, it remains one of the smartest answers ever built for a very specific question. Which part of its design do you think made the biggest difference? Think the P90 solved the problem? Drop a comment and tell us which feature impressed you most. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more deep dives into iconic tech.